Okay, so it's Sunday evening and I think it's about time for a bit of end of week decluttering. Uh, let's cover a few stories. Let's go over a few stories that I haven't had time to make videos about over the last few days. Let's get into it. <laughs> Daniel Bolland, this is a heavy hitter. Do you guys know who this is? Okay, so let's start with one of my favorites. Uh, Don Lemon, disgraced CNN anchor. Don Lemon got married yesterday. Aw. Okay, so those of you who uh, know me and know the channel will know that I, uh, I have no problem with gay pride. No, absolutely not. Though, you know, sometimes I do think they go a tad too far. I often think to myself, when's the gay humility parade coming to town, eh? But it never does. Anyway, the point is, uh, Don Lemon's orientation and that of his partner, his husband now, that's none of my business. I just think to myself, you know, their, as in Don Lemon's genitals and anus, there but for the grace of God, go I. Now, this is just a personal opinion, a personal preference. Again, you know, humility really is important to me. Uh, I'm not so sure that if you're getting married at 58, you need to throw yourself a parade on the busy streets of New York. But uh, again, as I say, that's just, that's just me. Each to their own. Everyone celebrates the important events of their life uh, with the pomp and circumstance that, uh, that they deem necessary, right? I get it. However, I would say this, and this is a sort of a public safety concern of mine. New York was hit this week with a 4.8 on the Richter scale earthquake. Now, we're not sure what causes earthquakes. Nobody is. Nobody. Uh, however, the ancient Greeks and many other civilizations that came before them and have come since coincide in the belief that sodomy is one of the great causes of uh, earth tremors. Now, you'll call me crazy, okay? You believe we live in a more enlightened age and that that's a backward way of thinking. What I say is uh, you might want to, Manhattanites, you might want to start making some symbolic, small animal sacrifices uh, to appease the gods. Smearing blood all over your window frames and the like. Better safe than sorry. <laughs> I am, of course, kidding. I don't believe that Don Lemon and his husband's ascapades really have anything more than a statistically insignificant effect on tectonic activity. The real scandal of this event is the, uh, the guests, right? I judge people by the company they keep. And boy, were there some bad eggs at this place. <laughs> Oh boy, where do I start? So we had channel favourites Alec and Ilaria Baldwin in attendance, both of whom appeared to be as insanely confused and out of place as ever. Good night, 39. Thank you, body, for this wild ride. We've done so much, made some people, broken some bones, felt such joy and tremendous pain, experienced love through the light and the storms. I feel fortunate to be here still. I've learned to love my shell and accept my path. A connection we are not often encouraged to have. But I am determined to have gratitude that you house my soul and guide me through this life. So thank you, body, for these 39 years. Tomorrow is 40, and I look forward to what comes next. And here we have 92-year-old record producer Clive Davis looking very dapper in his blue waistcoat, which he apparently wore because he was the couple's something blue for the ceremony. And looky here, Clive, you old dog, you've brought along something blue for yourself, I see, for later, eh? Now, again, each to their own, right? But uh, there is something very deeply disturbing, very sinister about um, about this kind of arrangement here. Because 
I get it when you're, uh, you know, the toy boy uh, or, you know, the arm candy for the older man uh, when you're 20. But when you're 45... The... Okay, so who else was there? We've got this, oh, this woman, uh, Sunny, uh, what's her name? Sunny Hostin, always hosting The View, the worst program ever made. And that other insufferable old bat, Joy Bahar, who's also on The View. Then there was this behemoth, who is apparently an ambassador of some kind, and she was accompanied by two members of the Secret Service. God knows why she needs them. She's a fucking unit. I'm sorry, I'm just assuming she's a terrible person because she's a politician and she's at Don Lemon's wedding. So, you know, forgive me if experience has taught me to err on the side of despising people I don't know, all right? Uh, and this will prove it to you. Look who gave him a phone call on his wedding day. It's Kamala Harris. Is this Don Lemon? Yes, it is, Madam, Bi Madam Vice President. How are you? Well, there's a stroke of luck, eh, that uh, Don Lemon's husband-to-be was right there filming just as Vice President Kamala Harris, completely out of the blue, spontaneously uh, gave him a call to wish him luck before his wedding. How how incredible. I am well and I'm calling to wish you all the best this weekend. And I remember when you and I talked about your relationship, I don't know how many years ago. Yes, and Tim is here listening to you. Yeah, he's listening all right. <laughs> Tim, hi. Hi, how are you? I'm sending you both all my best wishes for this weekend. And a marriage full of love, laughter, and good food. Oh. That is my wish to you both from... He knows. He knows. He can think... He knows these people are retarded. He's married his way into high society. Uh, he probably likes the fame, the contacts, the favours he gets from people now. But there is no way that if you're even slightly sane, you can stand the shrill, shrieking, meaningless conversation that Kamala Harris... Uh, gives you. It's 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 seeping into his marrow. He can't stand it. He can't bear to be there. Me and Doug. Thank you so much, and we look up to you. You're our couple goals. Uh, you are our couple goals. God, what an NPC, basic bitch, brainless thing that people say because other people said it for the last five years, so I'm going to say it now. Couple goals. <laughs> I, I have never said any of these phrases that people say. Any of them. In, a, in an unironic sense. I'll say them ironically from time to time as I sneer at people, right? And the zeitgeist. <laughs> okay. Uh, there is no way. Are they really your couple goals, both of you? Because your uh, couple, I'm not sure he thinks Kamala Harris is his couple goal. Look at what he, Don Lemon, the MPC, the ass kisser uh, extraordinaire, puts his husband through. He makes him dress up as Kamala Harris's husband for Halloween. How much of a bitch must he feel like? Oh, well, you know what? It, here's the thing. I'm, I'm, I'm unrequested advice. You just have to enjoy laughing and at yourself and each other. You have to just, you know, just, just always end the day with, no matter how tired you are. Laugh at my wife, no matter how tired she is. And, oh, it got cut off right at, wow. Right when I was getting to the crux of, uh, you know, Kamala Harris's uh, sage advice for a, a long and happy marriage. Well, never mind, I guess. Um, I, I guess we've got pretty far just with the Don Lemon stuff. Is there anything else going on? Have I got time to talk about anything else? What? Uh, Greta Thunberg got arrested today. Shall we have a look at that?
We are here because we are facing an existential crisis. We are in a planetary emergency and we are not going to stand by and let people lose their lives and livelihood and be forced to become climate refugees when we can do something. What a bunch of... <laughs> uh, look, I I don't want to be... The fuck is that? People throwing bottles... Recycling! I can't believe it! <laughs> that was uh, amazing. Impeccable timing. Now look, uh, I don't want to be one of those basic bitch griftery NPC channels that go after Greta. Oh, woke Greta, blah, whatever. I can't be bothered with that. That's not my style, okay? I am all about positivity and self-improvement. I want to see Greta living her best life, okay? And I've actually had an idea. Now, you can tell me in the comments, because I always forget her name. What's the name of that autistic lady who helped the cows? Because uh, she understood the cows, right? She understood that they wouldn't walk into a slaughterhouse the way they were designed. Uh, so uh, she designed a spiral ramp to to fool the autistic cows into walking into uh, into the slaughterhouse without kicking up a fuss, you know. Uh, I think that same woman or that same technology could be used to help Greta. You know, she needs to take a break from all this climate stuff. Yeah, you know? she left school at fifteen and she's been doing nothing else for about six or seven years, uh, hanging around with these weird spazzy hippies. You know, I think we could help her. She's still young. If we built, say, a spiral staircase, you know, she could be on one of her protests and we could lead her up a spiral staircase, not into a slaughterhouse. It hasn't come to that yet. But into, say, a nightclub. A nightclub with alcohol and music and people all trying to get off with each other. You know, the kind of things that young people should be doing. Or something else. Something more fulfilling. It can't just be sitting on the road getting arrested every other week. You know, that can't... That's no That's no life for a cow. For Greta. You know? Now, some sick bastard digitally edited a photo of uh, Greta getting arrested today. And posted it on Twitter. And some of the comments, they were... They were just unacceptable. Perhaps the climate is changing. Those tar titties hit different. Those melons were not sustainably farmed. <sighs> what a time to be alive, eh? Uh, I guess that's all we've got time for today. I'll see you in the next one.